Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Roland Zempit. In this video I would like to show you how you can use a recently added functionality called MIDI Output to Track. So let's create a new song. Let's close that and we're not going to use that drum uh, track so let's add um, an instrument track and we're not going to select uh, an instrument for this track and let's go and add a second instrument track. On this second instrument track let's add a plugin like, like this one Addictive Pro um, and I just click on some uh, um, some keys so you can hear what the, is the preset that is set for Addictive Pro. Okay perfect let's go back to the previous track now let's double click um, on uh, um, the track region or loop let's change the cursor to paint and let's paint some notes for this purpose randomly is okay. Now if I click play on this loop you will not hear anything because there is not an instrument which is associated to it. Let's uh, stop the playing now. Now let's expand this setting for that particular track. Let's go under MIDI and let's select advanced MIDI. Here you have a new option called output track we click on the drop down box and here you can select all the tracks which are available currently um, in, the in the sequencer, in this case in the loop builder. Uh, so let's select Addictive Pro Audio Unit and let's click OK. So now if I play um, this track you can see that the MIDI events are sent from this track, track directly to track number 3 where we have uh, our audio unit Addictive Pro um, set to play. So why is this useful? Well, I can separate the MIDI uh, track from the, um, in this case, audio unit audio track. And this can be handy if you want to influence uh, the same track, but from, for example, different MIDI track or for purpose you're organizing your songs in a different way. Because after all, I could add another track for example, like so, again, not select an instrument, um, insert some MIDI for the MIDI event, like so, and then again for the particular track, going into MIDI and set the output track again to st still track number three. And what you will see is that in this case, track number two and track number four will output their MIDI events to track number three. So again, so I found this uh, I find this feature uh, really powerful, and I'm grateful that um, Roland has added this into Roland's Embed because it helps me organize uh, as I wish tracks inside the loop builder or the timeline editor as well uh, here if um, if you know how uh, you want this to work how this works of course look at previous videos i hope you found this uh, uh, useful and interesting and see you next time bye